Why don't you just give us some background on what Zulily actually does? Where are you in the, in the chain of command here for retail? Wonderful. So Zulily started with moms, literally finding the best product and offering them to mothers at unbeatable prices. Over the years, we started expanding and offering even more products, but continuing with the promise of having the most uh, unbeatable prices out there. In terms of these products, and as we've expanded, we're able to deliver this because we have a unique supply chain that's different than Amazon or the other internet giants. One that's optimized on cost rather than speed. So from our point of view, it's not about next day shipping, Mm -hmm. um, it's actually about passing along those savings to customers. And so our supply chain is built around events. We don't actually hold a lot of the inventory that we have. We place a PO after a customer makes that purchase. And by doing that, we're able to put a lot of items into a box. And for any customer who's willing to wait one or two weeks, she can save 5 to $10 on every single gift underneath a Christmas tree. So part of giving those savings back to consumers is this best price promise where you're going to actually let people look at the prices on Walmart and Amazon and compare. My question is, does that at some point generate a race to the bottom on price where you're trying to undercut each other and potentially ending up with very low profit? It, it potentially could, but we're actually not seeing that happen. What I think is even more important is for each retailer to understand their path, their own unique business model. And ours is really quite different than Amazon and Walmart. It's not about this free, fast shipping. There are inherent costs in it. So on Best Price Promise, we're really proud of this. We're seeing millions of customers respond positively. Um, what we've basically done was what we believe no other retailer has ever done in history. Rather than just offering a price match guarantee that puts the onus on customers to go find the best price, we're giving that information to our consumers. So when we listen to our consumers, 65% think that Amazon and Walmart have the lowest prices online. However, over a thousand products every day, Zulily has lower prices 97% of the time. So we literally take the most recent price on Amazon and Walmart and not force the customer to go find it, but offer it, show it to a consumer so she can make the right decision in the moment for her. Talking about, you said, you know, two-day shipping is not necessarily the most important thing, and that would seem to really buck the trend. Although mm -hmm. I do have to say, I don't know that I always need everything in two days, and I wonder if you could just expand on that and how you sort of come to that decision. Well, you know, I think there is a need for two-day and one-day shipping that serves many customers and many needs. but. For a majority of households in this country, what we are hearing is it's not just about great product, but it's about savings. And those dollars matter. And so what we've done at Zulily is found a supply chain and a model that allows to us to pass along those savings to consumers. So how, uh, what have you noticed in terms of the impact of the U.S.-China trade war, either in terms of prices or end demand? I know you don't stock the overall inventory, but where have you seen it? Well, for Zulily, it is less of an impact than I think other retailers or other brands who may be holding on to a lot of inventory and or looking at their own supply chains. We are reselling and partnering with brands who may or may not have their production facilities in China. And we rarely are stuck on this inventory. Like going back to how we can have the most efficient supply chain from a cost perspective is the fact that we have low transportation costs because consumers put three, four, five items into their box. We don't have markdowns or overstocks, which really kind of impact the P&L for most retailers. And instead, uh, we just pass along in real time the right amount of the inventory that the consumer is asking for. Yeah. We get it into her hands in the most efficient way possible.